Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. <clears throat> And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, this lesson is going to be about this foolish rapper you see right here. His name is NBA Youngboy. All right, uh, NBA young boy is, you know, just another ignorant ass rapper, you know, and he got a heavy influence on uh, the younger generation. His music is trash, you know. I never liked this nigga music, you know, at all. And uh, he a little fruit, fruit, fruity pebble ass dude too. He feminine too, you know what I mean. You know, he paint his nails, he be gyrating and and dancing very, like, effeminate, you know what I mean? And uh, he one of those emotional, um, unstable type dudes, you know what I mean? Just, just feeble-minded, scatterbrained, you know what I mean? No, not a critical thinker at all, you know, just foolish, you know, saying um, immature, you know, you know, one of the mama's boys types. And uh, recently, you know, it said he was doing some type of like interview. And this is what he said. You know, as you can read right here, it says that uh, he says um, it's a it's a de demonic industry that he chooses to be a part of. I accept it. I run with it. So he was doing an interview and he was like, you know, it's a demonic industry. And he said, I choose to be a part of it. He accepts it and he runs with it. So he runs with the fact that the industry that he's a part of, which is the uh, music industry, um, you know, he, he accepts the fact that it's demonic. He accepts it. He's a part of it. All right. That's why the type of music he puts out where he talks about, you know, killing and, you know, say selling drugs and. You know what I mean? Doing drugs and things of that nature. You know what I mean? It's just to poison the youth and just people in general. No matter what age you are. You know, he's a part of the, the problem. He glorifies ignorance. You know? He's a, a puppet in uh in Esau's world. Alright? And Esau uses him, alright, to do the ignorant deeds that he needs to for for funds. Because he'll do whatever it takes for money. That's just what most of these idiots do. You know what I mean? Give them an offer. They'll do whatever it takes for the, for the money. You know? You know, that's why it says for the love of money is the root of all evil. You know? Because people love money and they willing to do whatever for it. All right? This is Galatians 6 and 7. It says, be not deceived. God is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth. That also, that, that shall he also reap. So, whatever you sow, you're going to reap. All right? You know, if you have a harvest of corn, and you know, saying you, you nourish that field, you know, and it, it'll populate, you know, saying, and all the corn is going to grow, and you'll be able to, you know, saying, um, have a whole, um, a land of, of corn, you know, it'll rain, you know, say it'll get enough sun and then it's going to grow when you plant those seeds, you know, it's the same thing with evil. If you plant seeds of evil, something's going to grow from that, you know, and it's going to be more evil. All right. Next thing you know, you're going to have a whole, you know, saying, uh, um, farm of of just evil you know saying like wicked thoughts wicked deeds you know and it's just gonna it's gonna it's gonna just just take over like cancer you know what i mean 
It's like it's going to take over. It's going to keep spreading. All right? Because you keep planting seeds. You know what I'm saying? Within your mind. You know, it's watching evil, hearing evil. You know what I mean? Not keeping things spiritual. That's what you're going to have. You're going to end up like an NBA young boy. All right? Taking on the demonic uh, music industry and loving it. You know, they love it so. All right? Because they're in the flesh. Verse 8, for he that soweth to his flesh shall uh, uh, shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that uh, showeth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. But NBA Youngboy is going after the flesh. He's not talking about the spirit because he's not occupied in, in prophecy. You know what I'm saying? He's not... He's not occupied in the Lord, all right? Because the Lord, it's the spirit of prophecy. So he's not occupied in the Lord. He's occupied in the flesh, all right? Because he's going to get what his flesh wants. That's why he wants to be a part of that demonic industry. Because that demonic industry will provide what he wants uh, for his flesh, all right? It's going to give him what he wants. You know, we can't do that because we shouldn't. And we don't need to because the Lord is going to give us everything we need. And then he's going to give us everything we want because we trust in him to give us what we need for the time being. Because we're trying to get the kingdom of heaven. That's what it's all about. You know, saying he's going to hold on to this place while this place is crumbling. All right. Because why are people have no knowledge? All right. And they hate the prophets too. Isaiah 1 and 3. It says the ox knoweth its owner and the ass his master's crib. But Israel doeth not know. My people doeth not consider. Ah, sinful nation of a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evil do Children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backwards, and they provoke the Holy One to anger. The Lord is angry with the wicked every day, all right? So they are laden with iniquity, with it, which is sin, all right? And they do evil. They're wise to do evil. They surpass the deeds of the wicked. All right. That's what uh, our people have done. All right. Like, like, like the scriptures say, ye are of your father the devil. All right. It's like they live as if the, the, the devil is their actual father. Like they've been raised by him. That's how evil they are. That's why they choose to be wicked. That's why they choose to be a part of an evil system. So willfully, because it gives them everything they need in the flesh, this corrupted flesh. And the NBA young boy has the influence of, of a lot of young people. So when they see him so willingly give himself over to the demonic industry, they will be willing also because they follow him. They don't follow the Lord. They follow him. They follow men. All right. And he's going to lead a lot of people to damnation. All right. The leaders of our people are foolish. And he's considered a leader here uh, to a certain degree. So he's going to reap what he sows. All right. And he's not going to like it. All right. Unless he repent, which I doubt he will. But if he do, you know what I'm saying? It will, it, the Lord blessed. But if he don't, hmm. The Lord bless. So with that, all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai.